there were definitely some funny experiences in school for me. But that, like, I so. Was, <laughs> I was definitely the class clown. No, hold on. You, want, you, want, you want to hear a really funny experience from my first grade year? It's fucking hilarious. Uh, at least I think it is. I, I ended up going to the uh, principal for this. It was, uh, and we were on our iPad, um, on the iPads, right? Because my school had like school iPads. I thought you were about to say your iPad. I was like, what are you on iCarly, bro? No. Nah, um, <laughs> we were watching this guy read a book to us. Pretty good. And I expressed my love for some girl in my class in first grade oh, through the God. chat on the re on the iPad. And, and then my teacher walked over and is like, what the f is that? And I'm just like, I'm just saying I love her. And I'm like, I was confused as to what was going on. I did not know what I did wrong. <laughs> and she was like, this chat is for this book only. You're supposed to be talking about what is going on. And I'm like, oh. I, I would say like the most awkward, one of the most awkward situations I was ever in in school. But in sixth grade, um, I, I fell asleep on my desk and there was a fire alarm that went off. Like, you know, like a, like the, like a, a fire drill, like the practice. And bro, my teacher let me sleep through the thing. And, and we came back, and then everyone just started screaming and woke me up. I was like, what is wrong with you guys? Like, why did you do that? Like, I literally got jump scared. That's gonna traumatize you. Yeah, oh. for real. I literally, like, bro, what if I had some special illness and I, like, died? <laughs> some special illness. <laughs> I love that teacher though. He, he was so sick, bro. Mr. Agamad. Such a. Did you just let you sleep through? How did you sleep through a fire alarm? Like, that shit's yeah. designed. That shit's designed. Listen, listen, here's a good example. Okay, in sandwich, this is what I was telling you a while ago. I will not wake up that day. I literally slept through my neighbor's house first. So, like, I remember waking up at like 6 in the morning. There was like three fire trucks outside my house. Like, everything. Like, everything you could think of. And I woke up and my whole house was flashing red and blue. And I'm like, what's going on? And my mom's like, did you seriously just wake up? And I'm like, yeah, why? And she's like, our neighbor's house burned down. And I'm like, huh? What, you said what? <laughs> look at the window. Hey, look at that. I can see the, <laughs> the house next door. I, it didn't like burn down, but it was like an electrical fire in the walls. So. I mean, it didn't burn down, but they had to see was fire. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, nah, I, I sleep through a hey, lot, bro. A that's lot. Pretty good. I wake up pretty easily. I'm getting dark off. Well, actually, I've been waking up. Like, the older I get, the, the less of a heavy sleeper I am, but... Which kind of sucks. The double-edged sword. You're waking up easily as well. See, see, I don't... I have a... My sleep is weird. So, only specific sounds can wake me up really easily. Like, the sound of glass breaking, that will wake me up easy as hell. I, I would actually kind of agree with the, the specific sounds because I feel like, like I wouldn't wake up to an alarm clock, but I'll wake up to my cat scratching at my door. Right. Like, yeah, me too. Oh, this is the worst, man. Like, exactly. I can see like, you a party and shit. My cat and all that. being an ultra anus, bro. Like, literally like 15, 20 times a night just calling my door to get in. I let her in. She jumps her on my room once to pause to get out. And it's, it's like, it's perfect timing as soon as I fall back asleep. She'll pot again up. I'll let her out. She'll literally run to the end of the hall and run back to my door and pot again. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> like, what are you doing? You like, it, it is four in the morning. No, what the? No, I set up a that is a case of, of the zoomies. I, uh, I put a board in front of my door and just, um, crashed it down. Mm -hmm. Jump in and jump out. Yeah, no, see, my, I actually just eat. got this one. some reason. Oh, got a he usually gets them at 12 o'clock at night if I'm... Yo, dude, fucking relax. My cow you have no reason. My cow will get the zoomies after she poops. She'll go crazy. My cat doesn't do that. He gets them at, usually will get them at 12 o'clock at night if I'm not in bed laying down. My dog does the same thing. As soon as he poops and he comes here, like, he goes back inside to me, my dog just goes wild. Yeah, cause he just dropped all that shit. <laughs> my, my dog. Dude, it's like when you when you drop a fat juice and you're like, damn, dude, I feel great. I have so much energy now. <laughs> right. I could conquer the world with this energy. Come on, man. Dude, I was I watching uh, a wheel trying to poop. I was watching a documentary on YouTube yesterday about anthrax, and it's actually like probably the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Now what? Anthrax. It's like, uh, 
like a, uh, it is like the most deadly bio weapon that is like naturally accessible. And I'm like surprised the world's not over the Oh, I'm, I think I know what video you're talking about. It's not that one British dude that does everything that has like 50 channels on YouTube. Yeah. 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 Um. Stuff like that. It's so interesting. Anthrax is easily the most obtainable disease, like that's deadly. But it's just like hey, I just don't understand how good. we don't have more cases of people using it. But I also yeah, get that, it at the same time because it's you have to have a lot of it to kill someone. No. Yeah. It would have to be like something like you get like a crop duster and fly over a city. Like, that yeah. would be the only, like, you're not gonna do it any other way. Okay, so... But it's pretty so, wild. The toxicity of something can only be, re be quantified by volume. By the volume of that substance. Like, water is poisonous if you drink too much of it. No, no, it is one of those things, like, it is... It, it's well, even if you, could, you can fucking consume cyanide and not die, like, it's uh, all up to those. No, no, no. Anthrax, it, like, it has spores, and the spores, um, they multiply. Like, like, if you see you have one spore on you, it multiplies itself. And multiplies, multiplies. Uh, uh, well, yeah, that's because, and then it gets to the point where the dose of it is lethal. Yeah. So, that, so by, by same it stands, it's just that it oh, can yeah, yeah. increase its yeah. dosage at will. No, Anthrax is one of those things. I, I think it's under 48 hours, no matter, like, like every single situation, or every single scenario that's been, like, a death case. Less than 48 hours, which is terrifying, bro. Like, There's shit that kills you faster than that. No, well, okay, but not something like. like in Anthrax is, um. Anthrax is like getting burned alive, except for that it's slower. Because yeah. Anthrax uh, eats you from the inside out. So say you get it on your arm, it'll eat out, it'll literally eat out the muscles and bones in your arm, and then it'll start to move to other parts of your body. Oh, is that crocodile? From what I understand. Uh, I don't know what to point. How does this make sense, bro? One day ago, there was a story that a man got two years for sending anthrax to a former governor. How would you only get two years for that? Is that not literally attempted murder? <laughs> like, like, what? Dude, okay, dude. See, the, the issue with that, though, is that you don't know why he sent it, you know? I mean, I guess, but... Dude, oh my god, I hit a new mouse so badly. <laughs> this is so fun. No, it's pretty crazy though, because in that same video he was explaining that um, this guy named Shiro Ishii, Oh shit, this got ranked? Something, what? something along the lines of Shiro Ishii. Like one of like the, the first in command for um, the Japanese army a while ago. Um, During World War II? I, I think so. They did something. I, or I think it was either Japan or it was us that um, they flew a plane over one of the German, the German, uh, or an island in Scotland that had like all of the um all their livestock and they um a, or no 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 well that was a whole separate thing and then sure Ishi killed like 300,000 or yeah it was stuff, uh china civilians chinese civilians he killed like over 300,000 chinese civilians. oh i remember what you're talking about um yes you it's literally crazy, you literally can't step foot on that island because of how toxic no, 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 it no, is no, they, they fixed it they fixed it but, they, did had they? To, okay. they had to operate all the soil and uh, yeah uh, I remember, I remember hearing about that, but I didn't remember if they fixed it or not. Because I know that there was like a big issue when it happened that you literally couldn't get onto the island unless you were in like gear for it. Yeah, the crazy thing to me, dude. Well, I don't even understand how you can even make a chemical bomb out of it or a chemical anything out of it. Because I feel like if you were in a in a lab where anthrax was, how in the heck could you handle anthrax without uh, contaminating yourself? Isn't anthrax in be like beans? I don't it's like know. in this like bean like it. thing. Um, it's. I have no idea even what it is. It's uh, well, it's because it's it's a, like I I don't even know how to explain it. It's um. Very well, easy we, to handle without getting yourself. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if you're in like a hazmat suit or something, but. Also, if you're in a lab, there's definitely procedures around that. Yeah, like, right. if you're going to be handling th anthrax, you're going to know what you're doing. Yeah. 
it's ex it's the same thing with like nuclear technology like they made nukes because they were able to handle everything around it because like you got to think about the amount of radiation that the nuke dropped but also the amount of radiation that was in the room when they were making it yeah. granted you can get plutonium uh 240 to not be as um what's it called radioactive while you're working with it uh, i don't even understand why the whole why people even started experimenting with nukes like bro, I just believe it, man. well we it wanted to win dude it, it's literally because we wanted to shit on the other country like we literally wanted to like, get rid of us japan out. we are completely know, like, capable of handling the u.s military we, you know we see three boats. They what I find is actually mind-blowing, though. So, I mean, everyone here knows Albert Einstein. Before, if you don't hear, uh... Yeah. Uh, anyway. Are you gonna well, cut I a famous part, phrase? Dude, it's crazy to me that before anything even happened... Like, well, I mean, it was after... I mean, I'm pretty sure it was after the whole... You know, whenever he discovered everything, but... His statement how there won't be a World War III. That, like, World War III will be, um... Back to he, and, and he's right. Like, no, no, the, his quote, the quote is, I don't know what weapons World War Three will be fought with, but I know World oh, War yeah. Four will be fought, fought with sticks and stones. Yeah, because World War Three, like, guaranteed, there won't be a World War Three. The World War is. Dude, the Cold War, like, dude, the world would have ended in the Cold War. No, well, I'm just saying, no, in general, it that, like, there will not be another, like, I do not think that there will be another war. No, not, not now. Like, like, no, well, like, the, the world would have, like, we had enough nukes during the Cold War to, like, actually decimate the entire I, 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 I don't think you understand how many nukes are still active today. Well, no. We well, still well, do. Well, well here, here's the thing. Easy. It, it doesn't, like, I, I think the thing that a lot of people don't get, bro, is it doesn't matter how many nukes one country has, because as soon as one person presses that button, everyone hits, everyone hits their button. And we'll yeah. Be the so, yeah. Well, it's because you, you gotta think about it. Retaliation. Also, um, nuclear technology has gotten to the point that it's, like, absurdly good. Um, because we now have missiles that can literally dodge anti-air, um, Well, isn't like, North Korea vehicles. testing a couple missiles like that recently? They were t that's what they were testing and everyone was freaking out about on the news. Yeah. But, they to go, be, like... Yeah, you know, I, I will say one thing, like, like I, I'm not, I'm not behind, um, any, like, uh, dictatorship or anything, or communism, but I will say one thing, bro, and I'm not behind this either, like, the whole Ukraine and Russia thing going on, at least Putin's got the balls to send troops over there and do stuff, you know, with hands, and he's not just being, like, a cuck lord, like, the U.S. Just saying that he's just gonna drops do. bombs on Syria. No, like, well, they just no. bombs on places, like... The thing is, though, is that he wants that land. We didn't. We just well, wanted to get the. Dude, we just I, wanted them to stop. Bro, here's the thing. I don't get, bro. Just let them take care of their business. It's Russia and Ukraine. Like, why is the U.S. got to stick their nose in everything? Like, no, I wonder no one, why all of our yeah. troops are dying, bro. No, like, no, no. I don't think you understand. Joe Biden has literally made a statement that he's not sending troops to Ukraine. Oh uh, well. Um. Well, regardless of that, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying what I know because I have, I have a friend that's, uh, he's in the Air Force and he's, uh, there's a good chance he's getting sent to Poland for all of it, so. I don't know. Hey. I think, I think, I think, I think, again? I think they're no, sending, no, he's, he's gonna I send think, Poland for the whole Russian -Ukraine I think they're I sending, I think they're sending troops to Poland and things because, what the I the idea is is that if Russia tries to continue to go for more, oh, yeah. then we'll stop them because we don't want the, the another thing, thing like I, the Nazi invasions. Dude, the thing that I don't understand, right? The Ukraine was a part of the USSR. Like Putin, Loki kind of has a right to take it back. I mean, they still technically are under the USSR. Uh, parts of Ukraine still are like heavily Russian influenced. Like, I have a friend, I have a friend who I met, like, literally, who, um, like, has, a, who lives in Ukraine, but is in a part of Ukraine that's still controlled by Russia. Yeah. Oh, so there's, there's, there's still parts of it. Bit. It's just so stupid to me, bro. Just love your life, man. 
I think that's understandable because like even though Russia is as big as it is, literally only so much of it is usable. Oh yeah, that was another thing in that Anthrax video that a lot of um because of like uh the climate changes. Yeah. And uh, I mean well, whether you want to call it global warming or not, I mean, it, I mean, the globe is kind of warming, you know? It, 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 but, dude, it's always done that. It's whether or not that we've, nah, we, no, we are anyway, accelerating anyway, it. Anyway, and the whole Anthrax thing that was, yeah. uh, in the video, he explained that um, a lot of, like, the frozen, um, the frozen, like, corpses, or not corpses, uh, carcasses of, like, animals that had Anthrax spores on them or um, old plants or ground that had them, they're starting to become unfrozen and reactivate again. So it's like, the... It's more opportune for um, anthrax outbreaks and stuff to happen again. Because there was actually a case of an anthrax death not too long ago in Russia. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty wild, dude. I just find it also, funny that, like, 15 years ago... Global like warming ago, has scientific backing um, with the fact that the globe has actually gone up. No, 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 what I was going to say, what I, what I find funny though, like 15 years ago, if you said that global warming was going to happen, you were like clown. And like, look at us now. And it's just, you know, like everyone that was clown and people that said global warming was fake, you're literally just wearing a dumb scalp. Like, we're the yeah. only people hurting the world right now, bro. Right. But, I mean, okay, the, the Earth has gone through... The rise and decrease of temperature the entire time it's been around. I mean, it's bro, whether or not we are another... accelerating this process. Yeah, well, I mean, dude, we're due for another ice age soon anyway. Like, yeah, we were, yeah. Wasn't it supposed to, like, happen fucking sooner? I think it got pushed back because of, of what we're fucking doing. Yeah, well, I mean, I did, I, I wouldn't put it past the world, but ever go through another ice age with how the world's going right now. Like, right. Might be a nuclear I, winner. <laughs> Yeah, for real. I mean, dude, like, it's crazy to, like, when summer went, I mean, you know, like, I know time passes, the world changes, but it's like, you know, it hurts to go outside, and, like, you know, 10 years ago, I remember something completely different. 15 years ago, I remember something completely different. I go outside now, and it's like, bro, like, what is this turned into? Like, everything looks different. I mean, the atmosphere is different, you know? Like, the aesthetic, yeah. the everything. It's like, you go outside, and you're like, dude, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stuff's changed. Hey, that's pretty good. Fuck that. I Fuck that lumpy support pillow. I can tell you it ain't it ain't better where I'm at. See, um, dude, I, I don't even I don't know. When I went I went back to Vegas a little while ago and I'm like, damn, I used to live in this air. What the fuck? Yeah. No, and it's like well sandwich, I don't know how you can live in New York where there's like no trees and no anything, like you just you got concrete trees, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Con> hey, <laughs> I, just, I, I just don't get it. The air is probably so thick. Oh, dude. yeah, dude. I I heard people that like that because I had there's a couple of people out here that live in South Dakota where the air is actually generally pretty clean. Um, and they went out to like New York and they're like, yeah, no, dude. Like I can't. I landed and then I'm like, dude, I was choking pretty much. And I'm like, well, yeah, I thought. The amount of pollution they got going. I think it was. Uh, I think it was the winter of 2009 that I went on vacation to Cali and Cali was, I mean, it was it was way nicer, you know, 12 years ago, 13 years ago than it is now, but it was still, like, vile. It was so hot, so humid, so, like, it was just... What park did you go to? LA. LA? It was, yeah. It was, like, it was just, it, it was so hard to breathe. Yeah, like, LA is bad. Like, yeah. yeah. Not especially where we were, like, like you know, we went... You know, when you think of L.A., you know, that why well, L.A. is pretty big, but we went to, like, you know, Hollywood, you know, everything like that. So it was, like, you know, the heart of L.A. And it was, like, dude, it was vile. So hot. I do. we went in December, and it was hot. Dude. Yeah, I, I, I like, like outer uh, L.A. where, like, all the good food is, and it's actually not that hot out there. I've, I've been to outer L.A. Can, I've never been inside, like, where Hollywood and stuff is. Nah, I, I can I guarantee you it's worse now than it was a long time ago. It's awful, man. I'm sure it is. It's just littered with homeless people. L.A. is so bad. I feel like L.A. would have been a pretty cool place to live in, like, the 80s to early 2000s. And after that, uh, I don't know. I 
I can tell you if I got the opportunity to move to like LA or Germany, I'm moving to Germany. Or LA or like the UK, I'm moving to the UK. F LA, dude. Honestly, F the US. I hate it here. I really do. Freedom, lol. Freedom with two gold vines of what freedom really is. Did you read the fine print of the word freedom? Yeah, exactly, bro. It's like the bottom of the commercial. No, you know, it's like it's like they have the commercial explaining and advertising this amazing product, and at the end, you get the guy that goes. <laughs> 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 That's like, okay, dude. like, I was like, okay, there's this many things that I need to like listen to you but, speed. But say? like, Sam, is, Right. Sam, but, okay, like, Honestly, like, the shit that some, the, some of the medications that you see, dude, seven, the shit that you're taking. Let's hey. look at my live really quick. It's pretty good. This right. is the way that I explain freedom to anyone that doesn't live in the U.S. So you know, you got freedom, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you got all the stuff that comes along with it. <laughs> and this is your line of freedom. So this is what people. Dude, this is actually, you know what? It, more realistically, it's like this is your line of freedom. And this is the stuff that comes along with it. But, you know, oh, my bad. You know, that. But, I don't know. It is unreal that people want to come here from, you know, countries that I would argue are uh, in a lot better it's, of a situation than we are. It's crazy to me that people want to come here from, like, places like Japan, to be honest. Because, like, Japan is such a good place to be. Uh, I mean, so I can, like understand, South Korea. I, I can understand like being a tourist and you know visiting the states, but, but living like, here is living shitty. Here, bro, oh my god! Yeah, no, see, um, I met this dude. Uh, since I started playing VR chat, I met this guy. He lives in Sioux Falls, so he's like an hour and fifty.